Now, even before we get started with building our music video, what I thought I would do in this tutorial and in the next couple of tutorials is show you around Vegas Pro 12's user interface so that we can get an idea where things are even before we do get started. So we'll progress now and take our first proper look at Vegas Pro 12's user interface here. As you can see, Sony have taken quite a bit of time into making Vegas Pro 12 very user friendly. And they've done it by adopting the Microsoft Windows paradigm in that very familiar or usual Microsoft style buttons and tabs populate around the user interface. For example, if you look at the top left here, well, you'll see the very familiar menu bar that you see in most programs. And no doubt you'll see these menu items. For example, you're going to see file there. Nothing unusual. We see that in most programs. Next to it, you'll see edit and view. Also, insert, tools, options, and help there at the end. And as I'm sure you will expect, these work exactly the same way as any menu item bar that you've ever used before. For example, if I click on File there, then you can see all these separate options are drop revealed running down vertically, and all these options are pertinent to our particular file that we will be working on. Further from this, if I click on Edit and drop reveal, then of course we see all these different edit options that allow us to manipulate our file. We could do the same with View, of course, or by clicking on any of these other menu buttons, Tools, for example. Notice just underneath the menu bar there is the toolbar, and once more, as we would expect, this is populated with all these different buttons, such as ones that will allow us to create a new empty project, or possibly if we've already got a project started we could save our file, we could even save as or render. Some of these terms will be very familiar to you, save and save as, possibly the term render won't be so familiar, but it is something that we'll get to as we progress. And of course, clicking on any of these other buttons to the right, well, these will display relevant items pertinent to that particular button. At present, I'm just showing you an overview. Now underneath, we see these extra buttons, and these allow further clickable icon instigated functions. For example, remove all unused media from a particular project that we were working upon, or indeed the opposite, we could import media. We'll actually look at this in a moment. We could also capture our video here, or possibly if we want to extract audio from a CD, then we can do that from here as well. Now this main area here is the project media area, or the project media window, and it's accessed by its own tab. And you'll see these particular tabs at the foot of this area here. Now we haven't got any media present at the moment. I will bring some in in a second. I just want to show you these other tabs as well. Next to our project media tab, we've got an explorer tab. We've also got a Transitions tab. We've got Video Effects and Media Generators. So we've got all these separate tabs here, and clicking on any of them reveals within this area that particular tab. Now, not only can you open these tabs, but we can also resize them as well, should we want to. For example, if I click on this Media Generators tab, well, with my cursor, I can roll over the edge there, that division edge there, and you'll see my cursor turn into a double-ended arrow. Well, then I can now click and drag to a new position. And, of course, I can resize this however I want it to look. Now, this might not be all that relevant to you if you've got a very large monitor. However, for these tutorials for you, oftentimes I'm going to be recording the tutorials using a much smaller footprint on our screen than I would necessarily use in real life. And therefore sometimes, although not for every tutorial, but sometimes things might be getting a little bit cramped on our screen. And therefore being able to move our tabs around, or certainly the division lines within our tabs, is very useful. Now, of course, this is going to work with any of our tabs. If I go to my Video Effects tab, for example, well, I can do exactly the same thing. Just left-click on the divider there and drag either to the right or to the left to either enlarge or reduce that particular part of your tab. If I go this way, I can see my Video Effects names better. Do notice also that scroll bar. 